Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay. This video is going to be um, it's going to be a follow-on video from the last video I did, because in my last video, <clears throat> I calculated the amount of over six R, which is the globe's mathematical version of refraction. It's not real refraction. <clears throat> it's not real refraction. It's just a, a mathematical um, change in an arc light. That's all it is, because their globe is always some form of an arc light. It's never, it never has less than a radius of four, six, one, eight miles, um, uh, which means that it's always more than three, nine, five, nine miles, which is their claimed geometric radius, which is not geometric because it's not measured. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's nonsense. But <clears throat> they have to claim that the, their globe is a constant arc length uh, of differing degrees of curvature. Now, my last video was about BLMSB 69's observation from a one foot observer height on the beach in Santa Barbara to uh, a 31 mile away horizon. <clears throat> this is just a kind of a mock up. This is a, a screenshot from that video, but I just uh, filtered it out just for just for visual, just while, while I'm speaking. Um, and the thing about it is, is that what I calculated it, it the amount of over six R they needed was 306. 306 over 6R. Now, I calculated it uh, using their maths, but making their maths lateral or horizontal. So I, I calculated a horizontal distance and then, I, and then I added the R, right? So my maths were correct, but it was pointed out to me by Adam Meekin and, and John Shelton and, um, and uh, someone else that it wasn't, that I was being too nice to the globe. That is actually not correct that I actually should have had they, like technically for them to explain that observation it's actually more than 306 over 6r so i'm going to go through that now and show um what that is because when i did the calculation originally there was it didn't with, with the if their effective radius that they need to claim which is just under 16 million miles of an effective sorry uh, effective circumference that they need to claim for to uh for to explain away uh, BLMSB 69's observation um, of the 31 mile away horizon. Um, <clears throat> the, something didn't make sense to me because their circumference uh, um, divided into that, uh, their claimed geometric, not geometric, circumference, um, divided into that effective circumference uh, uh, 640, almost 641 times. And it didn't make sense to me, but I knew that if I went with it and went with my calculation of over 6R, my 306 over 6R, I knew that the worst that could happen is that I would be wrong, but but the right answer would be worse for it. And I don't mind doing that when I know that what will happen is the right answer will make things actually worse for the opposing side. So if I think that I, it's going to be worse for us, I won't do it. I won't go with it. But I knew my calculations were right. It's just my application of them, um, where I applied them, was not correct, right? Well, it was and it wasn't because what I was trying to uh, figure out, or sorry, uh, display was the amount of over six R that these people must claim f just to explain that one observation, right? So <clears throat> this is this is going to be an interesting video. <clears throat> it won't be very long, right? So, this is a, a screenshot from another video that BLMSB69 took from the same location, looking again at 31 miles away, because he has two or three that he did. But I'm going to link the most previous one that he did. Uh, this is just to show like this that he's on, and you can see in the in the video I link and I linked it in the last in the last video uh, on this um, that he is goes down to one foot even lower than even one foot observation height, um, and he's seeing right out to. Um, when he when he zooms, an horizon right out here, which is Anacapa Island or an island out off of Santa Barbara, so <clears throat> that's all shown in his video. So this this is just just to show this is just to show that this is another image from another video where he did the observation again. Now <clears throat> it's not about it's not a, this is not like this is just this video is just an it's like a really nice dessert to the last main course. 
And that's how I view it. As the last main course pointed out how ridiculous their claim was. But this is going to really show how ridiculous their claim has to be. Right? And I'll show you how wrong my calculation was. Not that my maths were wrong. My maths were right. There's nothing wrong with my maths. It's it's the way I formulated it was wrong. So <clears throat> this here is Adam's Adam Meekin. Adam Meekin Meekin, those who don't know him, is obviously one of the ball busters. He's a panel member on Nathan's uh, and he's a friend of mine. And Adam uh, sent me this. Um, this is when I asked him what's the, what's the right way to get the radius based on uh, an observer's height and etc. And for for their for their globe, right? So this is tired of not knowing what size boy you're on today, right? Simply observe your distance to the horizon, input your observer height, right, right H, which is the input your observer height H, and as if by magic, instant peace of mind. Plus, as an added bonus, you get a calculated value to base your further geometric assumptions on, right? Now, him even putting in geometric is crazy because there's no, none of this can be measured. It's all nonsense. But they can believe this and they can come up with this absolute manure, uh, which they do. So the calculation to get your, to get, because you, as I said in the last video and previous videos, they're what they call a globe's geometric horizon right which from within their maths from a one foot observation height can be no more than 1.225 miles away from the observer but that is not geometric because it's not measured geometry earth measurement is you can do geometry but as soon as you start start adding in to that sentence uh, the horizon or anything physical in the earth then you then are claiming a measurement there is no measurement of that. It has never been measured, and it can never be measured. The horizon, right, never lifts up and goes down, uh, as ye, as these people need to claim for their over six R. It's always in a horizontal, and it oh, it moves closer and further away from an observer, depending on optics and weather, and uh, things like that. Right, right. It's an optical phenomenon. <clears throat> so, how you calculate, right, what size of a globe? You, you want to claim it is today, you right? Uh, you need to get the R. So <clears throat> for the R, it's it's two six four O by the distance right to the horizon that you're viewing squared, and divided by your observer height. That's how you do it, right? So I calculated the I ca that's for the calculation of the uh, circumference, the effective circumference. But I calculated the amount of over six R based on the fact that. No matter what they do, in reality, they must, that is a horizontal distance out to that horizon from the water here to the earth. That's a horizontal distance. This is from, this is the uh, black swan observation, uh, uh, the black black swan example photo. <clears throat> so that's a horizontal distance. So I think in reality, I think in realistic terms, and no matter what way they go about it, they have to, like, no matter what, what, what they like to say, they're either calculating horizontal distance out to an actual real real world horizon or they're calculating for some nonsense that exists mathematically below that because that's what they're doing because all our maths as john shelton says on on the show on nathan's show it's all our maths are always below surface level because they have to be because they can't be horizontal from the observer they can't be horizontal from the shoreline they can't be but this is horizontal from the shoreline that's the whole point. They're always, and in BLMSB 69, this is one of his observations, and he, in his 31 mile observations, they're all horizontal from the shoreline. So I calculated it horizontally, and I added R afterwards. So I'm going to show what it was that I did, and what it was that would have been the right thing to do uh, to get the correct amount of OSXR. <clears throat> so I just want to make this smaller. Right, come down here. At this right so what i did was i showed two different ways to get 306 over 6 r yeah using their um their uh the different differential in miles which is 0.097 miles between what would be uh uh, uh the difference between a 1.225 mile away uh claimed geometric not geometric horizon from an observer with a one foot observation height in our model to their 7 over 6 or uh, miles away, 1.322 miles away, 
um, uh, if, um, refracted horizon, right? So I calculated it off of that using the 0.097 uh, miles that it would be, they'd need to, to multiply 0.097 Miles 306 times to get uh, and to and then add it on to the 1.225 miles they already have they are, as a claim to get to 31 miles, right? Which is even slightly less because I think blue uh BLM SB69 saw slightly more than 31 miles, but I just used 31 miles. Um, <clears throat> then I also did it using uh 0.097 as feet, so I showed it 512.16 feet multiplied by 306 times. Gives you 156,000 feet, 156,720.96 6 feet, and when you divide that comes out at 29.628 miles, 28, uh, sorry, 29.682 miles, um, um, and then you add that 1.225 miles that you're that's already claimed to be there to that, and you get 30.907 miles, exactly the same as the 0.097, right? It's just in feet as opposed to miles, <clears throat> and it, those maths are correct, nothing wrong with those maths. But when I when I wanted to calculate the amount of over six R, and I used this these processes, they weren't correct, right? So why weren't they correct? They, they weren't correct because <clears throat> when we're looking at how you must formulate the radius, their effective radius, effective diameter, and effective circumference, right? Using the formulas that Adam, they're on screen now that Adam uh, gave me. What happens is, and I checked. I remember looking at this before I did the thing. And as I said earlier, it's like I don't mind going along with something. Um, and the funny thing about it is, I don't mind going along with something. And even if it's slightly wrong, just so when it's picked on or if somebody spots that it's wrong and starts pointing out that's wrong, I should have done it this way. That it actually, when the right version of it is, makes it worse for the globe. I've done it with a presentation a while ago when I knew I was doing it, and I did it on purpose. Uh, um, and th that's what I like to do that because there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind admitting when something is not correct, but I like to do it in such a way where it only gets worse when when the correction only makes it worse for our opposition, which which it does, right? So what they end up with is an effective circumference using um the uh, let's just say using Adam's uh, equation of uh, thirty one miles squared uh, by two six four zero, uh, giving you uh, um. A radius of two million five hundred thirty-seven thousand and and forty miles. That's the radius they have to come up with, right? And that gives you an effective circumference of just under sixteen million miles, right? So that's what happened. Is that I that is correct? These maths up here are correct as a distance, but laterally, right? I added R in afterwards, but laterally, whereas for the globe, right? For to come up with the over six R, it's actually Right, it's actually, I just go down here, it's actually worse than that, right? Much worse than that. This is globe correction incoming. <clears throat> it's actually not 306 over 6R. That is actually way too small. Even though globe people in the comments of the last video complained that it was, was too big. Like, I had people in the comments complaining that that was too much and too big. They didn't understand how 306 over 6R was correct how that could be correct even though I, I showed it all on screen a lot of them were saying your maths are wrong but they weren't able to show me what was wrong so a lot of them a lot of these people kind of act like they know maths and act like they're very good at maths but they're not because anyone who was good at maths would have spotted anyone who was adept at maths would have spotted that i calculated it laterally and it should be a lot more but there was no one came in and said that right now maybe they were trying not to say it because they're trying to that's what i think that's what i was thinking at the time they weren't saying it because, and I thought there might be something wrong with it. I thought it wouldn't be 100% correct because I wasn't matching the uh, the uh, the effective circumference. But it didn't matter, as I said, I don't mind it. Being the right version being worse for our opposition. But <clears throat> what happened was, is I had people attacking me on it, but they weren't able to show me what it was that was wrong. Now, some of them didn't know. Simple as, they just didn't know. They were just saying, it's wrong. And nothing else, nothing to go with it. Then I'd ask them what's wrong. And they come at me with some rubbish at home that means nothing, right? <laughs> or explain this thing on a flat earth, some rubbish like that, right? <clears throat> so let's go through it, right? The actual calculations is as follow, it follows. 31 miles by 31 miles equals 961. 961 by 2640 is 2,537,040 miles. That's the effective radius they need to claim. 
So three nine five nine, which is the globe claimed the globe's claimed uh, geometric uh, 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 radius, doesn't exist. There's no there is no uh, measure of geometric radius. Uh, divided into two thousand uh, sorry two million five hundred thirty seven thousand forty goes into that six hundred forty point eight two times. So we must then multiply this six hundred forty point eight two by six, which gives us three eight four four point nine seven, and this makes the amount of uh, the amount of over six R that a global believer must claim to explain how BLMSB sixty nine could see an horizon point thirty one miles away from one foot observation height. 3,845 over 6R. So instead of it being 306 over 6R, which a lot of more complaining was too big, it's actually not. It's actually 3,845 over, uh, over, 3, over 6R. That's what it is, which is 12.56 times too small, right? Because it's 12 point, so as 306 over 6R is 12.56 times less than 3,845 over 6R. So that's how bad it is for them. It's so bad that it's so bad that not only is 306 over 6R too small, it's actually almost 13 times too small. So 3,845 over 6R is what they must claim, right? So BLMSB can be here at A and be viewing a horizon here at D. This is this orange line at the top here between A and D is what they must claim that their their globe was. That's between A and D, right? That's what that is the full sorry, sorry, the horizon not at D, because between A and D, right, they're claiming that's twenty four thousand eight hundred and fifty six point or nine miles or whatever. So that's twenty four thousand eight hundred and fifty six miles between A and D. That's what they have to actually claim to explain away that observation. And just to show how absurd this is, right? Right, this is actually only one point one Sorry, sorry, not point one five percent. So their their claim geometric, not geometric circumference, right? Divides into uh, divides into uh, <clears throat> their their now claimed effective circumference of three thousand and uh, eight hundred and forty five over six R uh, uh, as a percentage, not point one five percent. That's what it is. So I'm just going to show. I know I showed it in the last video, but I have to show it again. That is how ridiculous they. This is the claim. This is how, di how ridiculous they must claim. This is this is what they must claim that their their globe becomes an effective globe like this, and their actual twenty four thousand eight hundred and fifty six miles becomes this line here for BLMSB sixty nine uh, in twenty twenty one or whatever it was when he ob did the observation on the beach in Santa Barbara. So I'm not going to keep the video going. This the, the last video explained a whole lot. I just wanted to make this correction because it shows just how absolutely absurd it, uh, their claims have to be. So all the globe believers out there who are complaining that 306 over 6R was wrong, uh, uh, was too big, uh, no, that was wrong. It was too small. But they were right when they said, my maths were wrong, except for they didn't know what it was that was wrong. But I would know that if Anton was wrong, it would only be that it would be worse for them. And all it was is that it was my, a category error. error. <clears throat> where I added my maths in was a category error. My maths were correct, but where the category was wrong to use them in. That's what it was. So there you go. That's the, After all their complaining, it ends up being 12 and a half times worse for them after they're complaining. Well done, lads. You always know how to do it. You always destroy yourselves. Thanks for watching.